Welcome back to tonight's Shares edition of Your Money, Your Call. I'm Nina May. Hope you've been enjoying the program so far. About 15 minutes left on the clock to go and we'll be back with more of your calls in just a second. But we did have an earlier caller, Roger Montgomery, talking about Monodelpha, stock code MND. Uh, we had a look at the chart. You said your numbers were somewhere in the pile of papers in front of you. You found it. So just yes. very quickly, okay, very let us quickly. know what you came up with. Um, the price today, the price today about uh, $12.80 or thereabouts. Valuation this year, $13.40. Uh, valuation for 2010 14.34 and 2011 $15.37. Um, so, you know, terrific business, great quality, very little debt, high return on equity, and growing valuations. There you go, Daryl from Perth. We got you the answer finally. Hi, Bill. Hi, Dana. Fantastic program, really fantastic. Um, my Thank daughter, uh, Erlen, and myself have been holding uh, to shares uh, for, for a number of years now. And, uh, there's, you know, they have been up and down and round about. I'm just wondering if your expert panel's opinion on their um, future over the next, say, two years, please. OK, Roger. Yeah, thank you very much. I'll try <laughs> and keep it You don't get brief. until the end of the program, no, no, Roger. How, how many minutes have I got? You get a couple of minutes. Because well, Telstra's could, a big one in I a lot of portfolios. I could probably write 20 pages on this. You probably could. Um, uh, the, let me give you some very quick statistics. Mobile phone, in the last 10 years, mobile phone subscriptions have grown from 8 million to 22 million oh today. Internet penetration into homes has gone from 20% 10 years ago to over 80% now. And subscriptions to pay TV, of which this station is part of, um, have gone from zero to about 48.5% penetration into Australian homes. All of those industries, or all of those businesses, Telstra has a very large part of those pies. Yet its profit today is exactly the same as what it was 10 years ago. Despite all that growth, they haven't been able to extract increased profits. So that's a worry. Now we've of course got some legislation that's going to go to the Senate, we find out today, where they're going to debate whether or not they're going, there's going to be a structural separation of Telstra. Who knows what that business is actually worth after it's separated? I don't know. Nobody knows. Um, it's not a great business it's a mediocre business and the reason I say that is because it's capital intensive so despite the fact it reports quite high returns on equity it funds its dividends by borrowing money now that would need to change because that's not sustainable and if you look at the chart if you look at a, a chart of the debt you'll see the debt is significantly higher than it was several years ago um, the valuation finally and I'll finish up Nina but the valuation of the company um, is a little bit higher than where it's trading today, but I don't think it's going anywhere. So to summarise what you've been saying, essentially its recent history has been one of involvement in growth areas, yet not really much on the table return for investors. Correct. And we have a period coming up of somewhat uncertainty Huge. because we don't know what's going to happen when the company splits with its retail and its wholesale. Exactly. So potentially rocky waters ahead. Well, yeah, mm. Even when everything was going smoothly yeah. for it, it hasn't been able to increase profits, it's going to be a lot less smooth in the future for this business. Josh, Telstra. Don't have many comments on Telstra, but I think uh, with the opening that it's, with the restructuring that's going to potentially happen, I think it's like opening a lot of opportunities for small cap telcos. So we focus, we've been focusing on a lot of that. There's been a re-rating on the telco sector in the small end. So companies like Amcom, AWM, uh, Pipe Networks, PWK, uh, Mac, MAQ. So we've been focusing a lot on those companies. They've been having some good runs um, to do with their inf infrastructure assets and whether they'll be a target of the MBN if it goes ahead. Mm. Well, yeah, it's I like Josh's thinking on that. Um, yeah. It's really important to look at these individual businesses, but be certain, be certain about who's going to who's going to win out of this. Um, otherwise, you are speculating. But I like the thinking. Well, MBN is going to open up potentially quite a few opportunities, as you say. Mm. It'll be interesting to see who gets what out of it. Mm. Thanks for your call, Bill. Really good question there. Michael from St Kilda is up next. Hi, Michael. Hi. Hi there. Thanks uh, for waiting my on. My question is about uh, SEEK, mm -hmm. S-E-K, as well as RV, Surf Corp. OK. Uh, let's start with SEEK for you, which is S-E-K, as you mentioned, sitting around the six buck mark. Josh. Don't know much about Seek. We follow Talent Suits, another competitor, yeah. T TWA. Um, look, it's in line with the recovery in job markets. Seek's just uh, been following that. It's probably ahead of the. It's anticipating a recovery in job markets. So, I mean, I'm not too sure about evaluation perspective. Maybe Roger can. Yeah, Roger. Well, Seek that. or Surfcorp, either of those look, two. Seek things. is Seek. The, the most money in the internet 
has been made by companies that provide lists. Lists of cars, lists of houses, lists of jobs. They seem to make a lot of money. Um, my concern would be that it's a fast changing industry uh, and you don't know what technology is coming around the corner. You don't know what Google's going to do. Uh, I would say, for example, Google is quite a big threat to real estate .com.au in Australia and after that then who next uh, and unless you can be certain about who's going to dominate a space in 5, 10 or 15 years time it, you really it's really difficult to value a business. Seek is a great business, high return on equity, um, no capital intensity, I mean, what do they need? You know they need a few servers um, and that's about it uh, but it is expensive at the moment. Servcorp, is that one that either of you are familiar about? We might just take a quick look at the chart if we can get that one up. SRV, the stock code, okay, for there you are at home, looks like it's sitting just under $4 there. Um, gentlemen, before we go to our next caller, interest rates, RBA's meeting on Melbourne Cup Day. <laughs> Lots of pretty... Oh, heaps of people will be watching that, won't they? Yeah. The RBA meeting, that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what comes first? I think the meeting comes first. And oh, I think okay. Everyone probably has to drown their Change sorrows the in, the, in the race. <laughs> Uh, which is shortly afterwards, I think. What do you think? 25, 50? Oh, look, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I do not concentrate too much on individual rate movements. Um, I have a personal view that rates should be higher than where they are. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the the rate settings that we saw most recently were, you know, the sort of rate settings that you saw in the United States. Mm -hmm. Um, and and I, the, I remember thinking, gosh, you could buy a house for 30 years at 3%. So I think rates should be higher than they are. Um, that, is, that is a negative uh, for stock valuations. As interest rates go up, the value of assets goes down. Um, yeah. OK, we've got, I think we've got two callers. We're going to try and get through them. We've got Max from Canberra. Hi, Max. Hi, hi. Thanks for taking my call. You're welcome. Uh, my, my question was, uh, I just, I'm looking to buy a company. It's called Melbourne IT. Um, its stock code is ML MLB. Um, I'm not much of a, a technical analysis, but I just wanted to know if it seems like a good company, seems like a good, a cheap price. Okay, we're going to take a look at the chart for you. Um, okay, about a dollar eighty, Josh. Yeah, I, I had a look at that company I think a month ago. It was um, it's a lot of debt issues, I think, and it's a lot of un underperformance in terms of earnings. It's been fairly inconsistent. Look, the IT sector's had a fantastic re-rating since the beginning of the year, but you want to be picking companies with without debt, with uh, ongoing contracts, service contracts, or a particular niche in the market. Um, the IT industry has sort of been leading this recovery. We had a look at the NASDAQ, and um, the IT sector actually made a, a high before any of the other sectors. So we think as, as uh, time goes on, the IT sector is going to be coming to more and more prominence, but you, you'd be wanting to pick the best IT companies like your Oaktons, your SMXs, your ASZs. So, um, yeah, we're keeping a close eye on it, but we, we, we stayed away from ML, uh, MLB for the meantime. Um, when I started my first funds management business, which I've now sold and I'm not involved with anymore, it cost me about $1,000 to register a website, a domain, and I did that through Melbourne IT. I just registered a, a website the other day. It cost me $27. Um, and I did it through someone else. Um, so that's, they're not good economics. Yeah. Gentlemen, we've got time for one last caller. Our lucky last is Jill, who's dialed in from Batemans Bay. Hi, Jill. Hi, Nina. Thanks for taking my call. You're welcome. Thanks for waiting. Um, I just was wondering about Roger's opinion and valuation on Woodside. Mm. Uh, it's, it yeah, it's, uh, it's expensive. But of course, the valuations are based on return on equity, and the return on equity is based on the oil price. Um, if you're confident that the oil price is going to go a lot higher, then the valuation, the price is, is probably a little bit expensive, but not very expensive. If you think the oil price is not going to go a lot higher, then the share price is very expensive. Roger Montgomery from rogermontgomery.com. Thank you both so much for appearing on tonight's Shares pleasure, edition of Your Money, Your Call, and giving all your uh, expert advice and analysis to guests. Really appreciate it. And to you, the viewers, thank you so much for all of your calls and your emails. Really hope you've enjoyed tonight's Shares edition of Your Money, Your Call. I'm Nina May and I'll see you next time.